in Bakugal's room. Why do you keep hanging out with them? They're controlling you. They were not. You are just always jealous of everything. Now it was my fault? Really? Stop being possessive, will you? It's suffocating. You kept telling me to stay over after class for me to not be able to hang out with them. Deku, do you know that you were not like this before? Kachin, it's just, I'm worried about you. Mina, Karishima, and the others have changed too. They were making you do the things that you don't like. Just like what? Just like sitting with them instead of talking to me during the vacant time in class. No, no, Izuku, let's get this clear. I like to sit with them and talk. At the same time, it's not like I don't want to be with you that's why I chose to chat with them. They are my friends. We were close before we even got together. I like you but it doesn't mean that I can't hang out with anyone else right now. And you're the only one who was thinking that they were forcing me to hang out with them. They are my friends. I'm sorry. Bakugal stared at him. It's fine. You don't need to get jealous about those little things. They're not doing harm to me. Bakugal hugged him. Come on, go back to your room now and do your homework. I am going to clean my room. Yes, I'll come back here afterwards. Yes, it is fine. Let's eat dinner together. Midoriya left. In the evening, Midoriya walks towards Bakugal's room, holding two plates of food for him and Bakugal. I'm so dumb to even think that Kachin doesn't enjoy being with me, I even get jealous. Um? What's that noise? Is it coming from Kachin's room? Kachin, I'm here, he froze when he saw Bakugal laughing with his friends. Midoriya walked away an instant after witnessing the sight of Bakugao enjoying their company. Wasn't he supposed to eat dinner with me? Then why is he eating with somebody else? Damn it. On the other side, Bakugao waited for Midoriya to arrive but he just received a text from the boy. Sorry, something urgent came up huh? We're supposed to have dinner together you know. His friends immediately noticed how his expression changed. Um, who is it? It's nothing. Let's continue where we left off. You okay man? We can just talk about the plan tomorrow. That won't do. Deku's birthday is in 3 days from now. We still need to prepare for the surprise. You look tired though. Did you guys fight perhaps? Hush. No, I'm just asking. I'm worried. Well, something like that. Anyway, just stop talking about nonsense and continue with the plan. Okay. If you say so. I'll be the in charge of Midoriya's cake. Playing it smart huh? Sato will be the one making cake so basically, you'll not do anything. Well, I can make tea. We don't need tea though of course not the little tea. She's talking about the gossip. Isn't gossiping kind of useful at this rate though? Who the far thinks that? Since you two are in a quarrel, why don't you use this opportunity to surprise him? Can you elaborate it please? For example, do a lyric prank. Use the timing also to apologize and make up. I like the idea. Well, Midoriya can probably forgive you since you will surprise him on his birthday. Not really. It still depends on how deep their problem was. Well, you have a point. I'm not going to do a lyric prank, that's too bothersome. I'll just call him in my room to surprise him on his birthday. So manly. Get out of my room now extras. I'm going to sleep. Mimi. I want to stay here longer. Your room is very clean. Then clean you room dunce face. I ain't inviting anyone here anymore. You spilled milk on the floor. I'm sorry. Bye bro. Text us if you need some help. Bye bye. See you tomorrow at class. Good night everyone. Oh I, Ciro, don't stay up all night bugging Todoroki to talk to you. The man just got eye bags because of you. Not you getting mad and interested with the tea at the same time. They left. In the class. Since we were done for my class, I want to give you my feedback about the last activity you've done. I will start with Mina and Kirishima. You two are impressive. I like your improvement in terms of teamwork. Kirishima's defense got better as well. This is off topic, but Mina, you should stop gossiping during fights. I know you're good but it is not appropriate to do during the training yes sir I'm sorry. And Ciro too. Sir? 
Stop staring at your partner during the fight when it's unnecessary. Focus on your target and attacks. Sir, are you talking about him and Todoroki? What? I'm just asking. You got it right. So Zero, stop staring at Todoroki during the training. You'll punch a hole on his face. Everyone in the class starts squealing. Oh, I'm sorry for staring at him too sir. What? Everyone went silent and started blushing because Todoroki is too honest for this. For Bakugou and Midoriya, I have no idea what happened to the both of you but please cooperate with each other next time. You didn't even say a single word to each other. I am kind of surprised that no one got injured among you two since you have been attacking each other aggressively. Everyone went silent. I'm sorry sir. Fix it and communicate next time. That's it. I will continue the with the others feedback tomorrow since your next teacher is here. Damn it. After the morning class, they went outside for lunch. Deku, let's have lunch. Will you be fine with me? Finally, you talk to me, and what are you talking about? We always have lunch together. Oh, thanks. I am sorry for ignoring you earlier. TCH. Of course I got mad. You ignored me without telling me the reason. Who wouldn't get mad at that? I'm sorry. It's fine now, just hurry and eat with me. Where do you want to sit? Any vacant seat will do. By the way, what do you want to order? Just same as what you're getting. Bakugou left to order foods when Bakasquid arrived. Hello Midoriya. Where's Bakugou? He is ordering food. Can we sit here? Mina pulled Kaminari's shirt. Let's sit there man. We'll be going now Midoriya. Enjoy your lunch. Ah, yeah. You too. Oh, you're talking to them. No, they talk to me first. You still sulking about what we fought about before? No, I already moved on from that. It was my fault for thinking that about them anyway. How about what happened last night? What was the urgent situation that came up? I'm about that, it's just my mom called me. She wanted to catch up to the happenings in my life lately that was why I cancelled my dinner with you. Oh okay. Why was he stuttering? I don't want to suspect that he was lying though. So he was still not aware of what he did? He invited his friends in his room when we were supposed to eat together. If there's no problem anymore, then let's eat. I'm starving. Thank you for the food. Bakugou pats Midoriya's head. Um? So cute. What? Nothing just eat. Ah Bakugou, please come with me after your meal. The teacher wants to tell us something. Midoriya glares at Kirishima. We haven't spent time together after lunch because of these guys. Will that be fine Midoriya? He flinched. Well, what can I say? You two should go ahead after we finished eating. You sure? Yes. Why not? Okay then. Wait for me in the classroom. What about me? Where shall I wait? What the far? Wait for me in your table. Want there me to punch ya? Hahaha <laughs> I'm just kidding man. I surrender I don't want any trouble kind of gesture. File off weird hair and finish your meal so that we can go immediately. Yes sir. Am I invisible here? After their meal. Deku, see you in class. Yeah, go ahead. Bakugou and Karishima left. Mumbles. Fight. How can he left grinning like that at Karishima? He didn't even smile once when he was with me this morning. Deku-kun? Why are you alone? Mumbles, was it really right that I got in a relationship with him? Unmidoriya, what's up? Let him be guys. He looks like he is busy thinking of something. No, Deku-kun are you okay? Huh. Oh no. Hi guys. When did you arrive? We're here for a while now to be honest. What were you thinking about? You okay? You look tired too. Are you even having enough sleep? I'm fine. Thanks for your concern guys. Where's Bakugou by the way? Why are you eating lunch alone? You could have told us that he's not with you. Oh, he left with Karishima just now. I see. Where did they go? I always see them together after lunch. I have no idea where they're going though. He said they were called by the teacher. Teacher? Who? Huh, I don't know too. I didn't ask him since they look like they were in a hurry. 
Perhaps it's from midnight again because of our ongoing project. Maybe she has something to tell them? That's weird. I went to midnight's room just now for a file but they said she wasn't there because all of the teachers have a meeting. So why did they say that a teacher was looking for them? Don't overthink it guys. Maybe Bakugou and Karishima were called in the meeting. Called in the meeting? The teachers never called students during the meeting that is for teachers only. And the thing is, they two always go together after lunch. This is the third time. Let's go back to the classroom now. Or you'll wait for Bakugou here. Oh, I'm going back. He said to wait for him in the class anyway. The next day, on call. Kachin? Are you ready? I'm outside your room right now. Um, the thing is, I might run late today. I'm finishing something real quick. What is it? Nothing. Just go ahead to the class already. I'll follow immediately. Damn it, stop being suspicious in front of me. Deku? Ah, yeah. I'll go now then. Midoriha hung up. I want to go to his room to check what he is doing but what if he gets mad at me and tells me that I am not giving him privacy? I'll just go to class. In the classroom. Class will start in 10 minutes. Why is Kachin still not here? And, Kirishima too. Are they together? Where is Bakugou and Kirishima? Sir. Sorry we are late. Everyone looked at the doorway. Kirishima and Bakugou went to class together. They all went silent. Why are your clothes looking like a mess? Don't you know how to iron it? Fix your neckties at least. Ah. Sorry. Bakugou was silent the whole time and he immediately went to his seat. Going to class together with such messy clothes hug. Kachin, why are you late? I just finished something. I'm making a new fighting strategy and stayed up kind of late so I woke up late too. How about Kirishima? Do you know why he was late? I just saw him on my way here. I don't know what he did though. Oh, okay. Midoriya turned his head towards Kirishima. The man almost avoided Midoriya's eyes if Midoriya didn't smile first. That's suspicious, why would he avoid my sight? Did Kachin really just coincidentally meet him on the way? After class. Deku, wait for me. You're not going with Karishima right now? What are you talking about? I'll go to my room and sleep. My eyes kinda sting. You didn't sleep or what? I slept for about 5 hours only today. Oh, I see. Want to grab some ice cream on our way back? No I'm good. I can't burn the hell tons of calories from that food while I sleep. That's true. Then I'll see you tomorrow. You're going to skip dinner right? Since you're going to sleep early. Yo eat well there nerd. See you tomorrow. He pats Midoriya's head and left. Damn it. I don't know what to feel anymore. If ever he was cheating on me, he won't admit it, will he? So I need to catch him myself if that's the case. 8.20 p.m. Should I text Kachin a good night? But maybe he is sleeping. I can't even sleep thinking about these things. I don't want to overthink it but my thoughts just automatically mix together. I can't take this anymore. The next day, the same thing happened again but the backer squad sticks closer together than they usually do. Damn it. In the afternoon, Bakugou left early as he was in a hurry to be with his friends. They kept talking and sighing and laughing and bickering as usual. I remember, Kachin rarely gets mad at me ever since we got into a relationship. Does he not care about me anymore that's why? New message from Bakugou. Can't make it tonight. I'm busy with something. Please eat without me. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bakugou is a flying. Busy again. Far. I'll just sleep this off and hope that he'll not cancel our tomorrow's date too. It's the weekend. What excuse can he make tomorrow? In the morning. In Bakugou and Midori IRS private chat. Good morning. Morning. Oh, you're up already? It's already 9am nerd. Seriously? Yes. Didn't you sleep well last night? It's rare for you to wake up this late. Not really. What time you gone go here? It depends on you. No, you decide. Maybe 2pm. Oh. Okay, so after lunch. See you then. Yes, see you. Want me to bring anything? Snacks? No, everything's all good. 
Just go here in time. Gotta go now. Bye. Yes, bye. Bakugao is a flying. He has been busy for days. What the actual heck was he up to? Is he with Karishima again or his friends? How wonderful. Midoriya went outside and he saw all of his classmates in the living room. Why are they all here? Good morning Deku-kun. Oh, good morning to you Erika-san. Want some chips? You should eat breakfast first before eating chips Midoriya. Alright. Have you guys ate already? Yes. We ate about 2 hours ago already. You're sleeping like a log so we didn't wake you up. Bakugao said to let you sleep longer too. Is that so? Where's Kachin by the way? He left an hour ago. Didn't he tell you? I think he just went to a shop. Who is he with? Um, Karishima and Siro I think. Mumbles. So he didn't tell me again. Why was he not telling me anything? Is he hiding something from me? What is it Deku-kun? I cannot clearly hear what he was saying kind of face. Let's go come with him and eat in the kitchen eater. We already ate though. Are you still not full? Today is cheat day. I'll eat tons. Let's eat then. 1.30 pm. 30 minutes before our date. Why hasn't he texted me back? Should I go there without him telling me? Shall I ask Ida if Kachin came back already? Kachin's not answering his phone. Midoriya called Ida. Hello? Have you saw Kachin downstairs? Did he come back already? I saw him an hour ago. He went straight to his room. Didn't you go there to check on him? I did but his room was all silent. I even knocked but no one answered me. I texted him but he hasn't texted me back. Oh, I don't know how I can help you at this rate. Was he avoiding you? Not really. Thanks. Goodbye now. Um, sure. Bye. The call ended. That's right. Perhaps he was avoiding me or he wanted to avoid me. Maybe the date we planned was just an excuse for him so that he can play the victim if we ever broke up. So that he can tell everyone that he made an effort and I am the one who gave up. Dang I should really find him right now and end these misunderstandings. Or end our relationship. Midoriya immediately went outside and hurriedly walked towards Bakugao's room. He tried to call Bakugao again but he didn't answer his phone. In Bakugao's location. Whispering. Bidge are you sure you're gonna do this? Answer his call at least. No. What's the surprise for if he knows that we're here? My back hurts from curling up under this table you know. A sudden bang from the door made them flinch. Hey what the heck was that? Bro. If your birthday surprise for him goes wrong, this is your fault okay? Man, why is this making me nervous out of nowhere? Come on Kachin, talk to me. Bro answer the fine call. No, let him enter the room. I left a note and the key outside. All is forgiven baby, come on out. Get dressed, you're my date to the pep rally tonight. You chucked me out, my time is trash. You should be dead, but, 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 but it hit me like a flash. What if high school went away instead? Those assholes are the key, they're keeping you away from me. They made you lie, mess up your mind, but I can set you free. You left me and I fell apart I punched the wall and cried Bam 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 Then I felt to change my heart And set loose all that truthful shit inside And so I built a bomb Tonight our school is Vietnam It's guaranteed they'll never see their senior prom
Leave me alone You were all I could trust I can't do this so long Azor immediately arrived and disabled Midoriya's quirk The next day where am I? Midoriya woke up in a familiar room, all white, and surrounded by the smell of lemon air freshener. Where's Kachin? He looked around and saw no one. He sighed and lay down in bed again. Can I come in? Kachin. Why am I here? Where did you go? You don't remember? You're in a hospital right now. Huh. Why? Bakugao explained everything to him. So Mr. Azor said that you will see a therapist until your mental health gets better. I'm sorry for triggering it too. I'm sorry for making you jealous and being insensitive. It's fine. It's still my fault for losing myself. I'm sorry, I made your effort for my birthday even go to waste. They haven't gone to waste at all. Here. Bakugao gets something from his pocket. A ring? Yeah I want you to look at this every time you feel jealousy and remember that I am always going to stay by your side. He puts the ring on Midoriya's finger. I love you okay? I would never find someone else. No matter how hard it can get in the future, I'll always make a way for the fate to work on us. Kachin, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. He bowed down which made Bakugao let out a soft chuckle. It's okay now. Give me a kiss instead. Fine. Bakugao sat down with Midoriya on the bed. He puts his hand on the boy's head and started playing with his curls a bit before leaning forward for a kiss. He got excited as soon as his lips landed on Midoriya's. It feels like it has been a while since their kiss felt like this. 
Midoriya whimpers when he felt Bakugou's tongue licking his lower lip, signaling him to open his mouth and let him enter it. Catch him. Not here. What if the doctor comes? I lock the door. There are no patients in the both rooms next to you. Okay then. Make it quick. I'm just kidding. We're too young for that. But seriously, I'm sorry. I tried to make a birthday surprise for you. Did my best. I did put my time and effort on it without knowing that I'm not giving you much attention anymore. I guess I get too obsessed with something I really like to have a successful outcome. No, I'm also at fault here. I am too jealous of everything and I always make myself believe that it's just right because I love you. I'm too immature. You're my first relationship and I don't want to lose you. I kept thinking of you until you were the one who filled my thoughts as it turned into an obsession. Bakugou holds his shaking hands. I'm sorry I made you feel that. I understand what you feel. I don't want you to spend your time with someone else more than me too you know. I will be by your side during the therapy no matter how long it will last I'm sorry again for causing you this midori I kissed him. Shut up. Don't apologize anymore. It's my fault too. Thank you for still staying with me after all of these. Bakugou pinched Midoriya's cheeks. Lele will always stay. 